All right, um, my computer ran out of batteries on the last one, so this is just the continuation. Um, and so I just kind of wanted you to see, like, when you're actually uh, doing a question, and you'll be doing this for your homework, um, but you'll also be graphing it. So when you have something that looks like this, and we have sine, and we'll have theta um, minus 90 degrees, plus one. So if you have to answer these questions, first of all, the amplitude is always going to be amplitude is always going to be the absolute value of a. So if my a is negative two, my amplitude is going to be two because that is a distance. The period for all of the ones that we've been doing so far, the period is going to be 2 pi divided by b, and b is the number that's right here. So since there's not a number there, the period is going to be 2 pi. Then the phase shift, the phase shift is basically whatever this is. I am going to basically say that it's negative c. So when you have that c is basically negative 90. So when you change that, then the phase shift, uh, is going to be a positive 90. Or you could also say that it is right 90. Okay. So, um, and I am not having you write this, the vertical shift, but the vertical shift is up and down. So the vertical shift is going to be up one, okay? But that doesn't really have a different name. So when you go to graph these, because some of you are having a little bit of trouble graphing, uh, the first thing that I would have you to do is to do the plus one right here. And so once you've done the plus one, um, when you go to start, this one's going to start at 90 degrees up one. So 90 degrees is here, and it's going to start up 1. Now, if it starts 2 to the right, then it's also going to end 2 to the right. So it's going to end right here. And then halfway in between is going to be 1, 2, 3, ooh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be in the middle. And then this is where the amplitude takes place. So we're going to go over 2. Normally, we would go over up 1. We're going to go 1 times negative 2, which is going to give you a negative 2. And the reason that it goes down is because it's negative. Then we're in the middle. Then we're going to go over 2. Normally, it would go down negative 1. We're going to do negative 1 times negative 2, which is going to give me a positive 2. So that graph is going to look oops, something like that. And you should be graphing this on your notes. The next one, we have y is equal to 1 half cosine theta plus 45 degrees minus 2. So first of all, the amplitude is equal to 1 half, because that's my A, and it's positive. The period for this one is the number in front of there, that's my B. There's not really a number there. So it's going to be 2 pi divided by 1, which is 2 pi, which you could also say is 360 degrees. And then the phase shift on this one and basically the phase shift is the horizontal transformations. So if this is a plus 45 degrees, our phase shift is going to be negative 45 degrees, or you could also say that it is left 45 degrees. So when we go to graph this one, first thing again that I'm going to do is I'm going to move down the x-axis to negative 2. And then I'm going to start it. So it's going to start at negative 45 degrees, negative 2. So if this is negative 90, this is negative 45 degrees. Now, you got to be really careful because when you're graphing the cosine, 
the cosine does not start on the new x-axis. The cosine usually starts up at 1, but it's not going to start up at 1 because we're going to take that 1 and multiply it by a half, so it's actually going to start up a half. Now, if, it's, if it moves back 45 degrees, then it's also going to end 45 degrees earlier, which is going to be right here. And then halfway in between, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's not going to go up. It's actually going to go down a half. Because normally it would go down 1. You're going to go 1 times a half, which is a half. Then on these middle little pieces, it's going to go up a half. Okay, now we're going to do some that we're not actually going to graph. I actually just want you to be able to tell what the phase shift and everything is. And some of these are going to be a little bit different. Okay, so let's say we have y is equal to negative 10 cosine 2 times theta plus 4 minus 8. Okay, now the amplitude A -M -P -L -E, the amplitude is a positive 10. The period, now I got to be really careful here, the period on this one is going to be 2 pi divided by B. Now in this case there is a B there. That b is a 2, so you're going to say 2 pi divided by 2, which is going to be pi. Now, what does that mean? Well, normally it takes 365 degrees, so what's going to happen is normally it goes from 0 to 2 pi. And that's normally my sine function, so it looks something like this. But if the period, it doesn't take it an entire 2 pi to make the whole sine function. So what happens here is the sine function looks like this, and it only takes it pi to go from you know, where it starts repeating. So what happens is, when this little number right here is a 2, what happens is, it makes it a horizontal shrink. And we're going to be talking about this a little bit more tomorrow with all of our, all of our different graphs that we've been doing. Okay? So, and then the uh, phase shift... The phase shift is actually, in this particular problem, the phase shift, instead of going just to the left 4, what happens is you're going to have to divide it by that 2. So this one's a little bit more involved. So on this one, when you have a number in front of there, for the phase shift, it actually comes out to be negative c divided by b. So in this case, it's going to be negative 4 divided by 2. So negative 4 divided by 2 means it's going to be negative 2. And then the vertical shift is just like it normally was, which would be negative 8. Okay, let's look at another one. And it doesn't always have to be written with the pi there. I did that one um, without the pi just to kind of show you that it didn't have to have it. So let's look at this one. Let's look at y is equal to um, negative 20. This would be one that we wouldn't graph. Cosine 1 half um, theta plus 90 degrees minus 4. So the amplitude, I think the amplitude is kind of the easiest amplitude. Amplitude is kind of the easiest one. The amplitude is going to be a positive 20. 
the period. Now, this is where we got to think a little bit. The period is going to be 2 pi divided by b. So if it's 2 pi divided by b, it's going to be 2 pi divided by 1 half. Well, when I do 2 pi divided by 1 half, we have to change that to a multiplication sign, which is going to be 2 pi times 2, which is 4 pi. Now, ooh, what happens there? Well, normally, when we graph the cosine function, it starts right here, and it ends right here, and this is 2 pi, and this is 0. And then in the middle, it goes something like this. So that's what our normal function would look like. But if the period now is 4 pi, what's going to happen is it's not going to finish until way over here. So what's going to happen is it's going to start at 0. Here it's going to go down. And so it's basically what it's doing when that number is a fraction is it's stretching it and it's making it a horizontal stretch. Okay, so that little b, we haven't really talked about it yet, but we're going to talk about it a little bit more tomorrow with all of our graphs. But that little b does a lot of different things to the graph, but everything that it does is horizontal because it's inside these parentheses. And everything inside the house is horizontal. Okay, so let's look at one more. So let's say we got y equals uh, two-thirds sine four theta plus 90 degrees minus 7. So the amplitude again has to be positive. So the amplitude for this one is a positive 2 thirds. The period for this one is equal to 2 pi divided by that number right there which is a 4. So that's going to be pi over 2. Ooh. So when that number is greater than 1, what this is going to do is it's going to be a, not a vertical, it's going to be a horizontal shrink. Because normally this is 2 pi. But what's going to happen here, and I'm not really paying attention to a lot of the other things like whether it needs to go, but if that's a 4 right there, what's going to happen is what normally it takes it to go from 0 to 2 pi. Well, pi over 2, so this right here is pi. Pi over 2 is right here. And then pi over 2. And then 3 pi over 2 is here. So the normal sine function goes here. And then it goes down. And then it goes back up. But if the period is only pi over 2, it's going to be so cute and so little. So what it's going to do is it's going to go like this. And it's going to do the whole rotation, the whole period in pi over 2. So that causes it to be a horizontal shrink. Then the phase shift, what's going to happen with the phase shift is we have that plus 90. And so we already know that that's going to be negative 90. But in order to find the phase shift when there is an actual B, it's going to be negative C divided by B. Because it's making everything, everything's going to be shorter. So what we're going to have to do is our B is 4, our C is 90. So we're going to do negative 90 divided by 4. Well, negative 90 divided by 4, negative 90 divided by 2 is 45. So that's going to be 45 over 2, and half of 45 is going to be 22.5. So what happens here, and I wouldn't have you graph this one, is I graphed it here, and then it's also going to have a phase shift 
of negative 22.5 degrees, which means this whole thing is going to go negative 22.5 degrees that way. And then the negative 7 is what's going to make it go down 7. Okay, but the new thing here is pretty much the period and the phase shift. So just remember the period is 2 pi divided by b, or if you like to, to do degrees better, you can do degrees. And then it's going to be the uh, phase shift is negative c divided by b. Okay, and all of this should be on the back of your notes in order to get full credit.